Hello everybody, welcome back to another BMNG Drive Mod Showcase and today we have two amazing SUV mods as well as their pickup version. So yes, you guys can see we have the Cadillac Escalade 2001 to 2006 SUV version as well as the pickup version. Then we have, you guys might think this is Evil Shoe Hopper. You guys are somewhat correct but this is actually the uh, 1984 to 2013 Bruto Grand and the Myer oh my Myer Myer oh, I have no oh, idea man. if I butchered the name I'm really sorry about that but next time pick up somewhat easier name to pronounce all right says so I'm gonna keep this aside so let's talk about the Cadillac so yes first keep in mind both of these mods are available for free so you guys can give it a try i will link down them in the description as well as i have a facebook page so you guys can check out more mods right uh, there because there will be link uh, saved as post then also we have a discord server you guys can join ch uh, chat sometimes because i most of the time i am just disappeared in but there will be a link for more mods so yes uh, again free mod working in progress so keep it that on mind all right first we have the cadillac esv version so yes let's give this thing a try by the way um i have no idea or experience with the cadillac escalade so this is what i think and this is uh, what i think about cadillac escalade so sorry about that all right anyway very heavy vehicle slow so that is very much accurate to the real one and there is no openable mods i hope the creator will add um, openable doors here and there because there is some good signs wait that's not it this one so you guys can see this one has a openable trunk lid but uh, might be coming up sooner than you think i have no idea all right anyway this is these are the headlights no not the headlights the normal lights parking lights dim lights i have no idea uh, then the headlights then the turning signals all uh, right then the fog lights then the reverse lights brake lights as well as turning signals are integrated to that all right anyway let's talk about the interior nothing much very very basic uh, as you guys can see nothing there uh, nothing much to interact with as well i have a little bit of issue uh, I think there should be some kind of like a gear knob here and there. I have no idea. Oh yes, it, the gear is the in the levers. Oh sorry about that. I forgot about that uh, because American vehicle had that in earlier days. Sorry about that. I think that is how it goes. Then um, ripped out infotainment system. I have no idea why is that, but nice touch. Then the uh, beautiful speedometer here and there RPM. All the uh, gauges are right here i wish uh, if the interior was a little bit detailed uh, more than this and some interactive buttons it it's gonna be 10 out of 10. all right uh, anyway let's get outside and let's start driving this thing by the way i uh, just picked this area to go with the suv theme but these things struggle <laughs> it's keep drifting i have no idea but Yes, I am the Drift King. All right, holy shit. All right. Not gonna lie. These kind of shit vehicles are very much fun to drive in DMG Drive. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit. All right, anyway, we flip the vehicle i just wanted to do a what is called a head-on collision and see how it handles um the crash model is not that bad but you guys can see some issues here and there still keeping it to your mind it's a working in progress it says released i don't know why but uh, in the description it says it's still in working in progress I'm gonna do a head-on collision as fast as this thing 
possibly can go. I think 100 miles per hour. Oh no, why you want to drift here and there? 95 miles per hour. Not a lie, a uh, fun little, not little, fun thing to drive here and there, but not good for racing and other stuff. Oh no, I missed it. I have come this far to have a crash. Alright, anyway. Ow. I think I disabled my slow motion camera, so sorry about that. Alright. Again, crashing model is not that bad. But if they created some little bit of toughness to the materials as well, it's gonna be really nice. Alright. So yes, we had a massive crash. Anyway, let's reset back. Let's hop outside, then back inside to the Cadillac EXT. This is the pickup version and it has this openable lid. I wish if the doors are openable too. Alright, the starting sound is really nice. Oh, I don't know why the uh, in front of my system is ripped out. Anyway, alright, let's uh, see how many configurations we get with this mod. So yes, at the moment I think it is 21 and these configurations are very very different from each other because let me show you guys. See? There is some kind of like a derby version, uh, there is a police version, then there's the budget track hawk talk uh, going under the trends, then the burnt, then the CHP highway patrol, the custom, very very loud. Uh, I think this thing has the environment system installed. Then the dreamy one, I haven't even seen this, how this looks. Uh, then there's the Tuna Peter, there's Racing One, Rusted, there's Shadows. I think Dreamy version is somewhat similar to Shadows by the looks of it. Uh, there is some few configurations but at the moment I like the European Mafia one, the Custom one, ESV and the EXT. So those things are my favorite. So yes, let's go back. Okay, let's give this thing a try. I'm pretty much sure this is gonna be the same thing. A little bit less heavier than that one, I think. Oh my god. Oh, it's slower than that one. So yes, let's just go for the crash and let's see how it handles. Oh no, the seats. Oh, there is no seats in the back. What the heck? Shit. Right. Right. Uh, Hundred and ten miles per hour. Alright, anyway, so you guys can see the engine, not that much detail, but again, free mod, working in progress, the model looks really nice, so you guys can have fun driving here and there, if you are looking forward to have some realistic crashes, not gonna recommend, but it's really fun to drive around. Alright, so that's it with the Cadillac. Escalade and let's hop into the next one. This is wait. Oh, it sounds really nice. This is the 
poor uh, fucking hell. I can't. Please pick some easier names when you are naming the cars. Bruto Grande H E Grande He Ariana Grande. All right. Anyway. So yes, uh, this thing has actually really nice interior than that one, but it's a real life car, so the priority goes to that. All right. Anyway, looks nice. Uh, somewhat between the Jeep Wrangler and with the Ibishu Hope. So yes. Anyway, I wish there is going to be somewhat further version, just like the Wrangler. All right. Anyway. You guys can open this, 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 oh wait, and this. So yes, as you guys can see, this one has very, very detailed engine bay as well as a very, very detailed interior. So yes, uh, give me a second guys. So yes, as you guys can see, the speedometers are very, very clear. And you guys can see the enframement system, the gearbox, uh, nothing too much because basic off-roader to be honest. So we can close the doors. Massive lag between the door closing. Right. Anyway. Right. So yes, you guys might think this is somewhat facelift version of the Ibishu Hopper it is but personally this thing handles better than the Ibishu Hopper because you guys know the normal version of the Ibishu Hopper is a little bit annoying sometimes not the favorite of everyone so here we have a normal 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 Ibishu Hopper and you guys can see this is the Bruto Grande and <laughs> wait let's line it up wait come on all right anyway this thing is a little bit bigger have a little bit bigger tires as well so yes this is better for off-roading if you're going with the stock versions and sounds really really nice and uh nothing too much so yes let's give this thing a try it has the uh, high low gearbox as well if you guys are going for rock going all right Let's drop this thing from here. Oh, it's in water. Right, anyway. Very, very, uh, very, very well detailed. And the sad part is, it's as I mentioned earlier, it's similar to the Ibishu Hopper. So everyone was like, ah, oh, no, something looks like Ibishu Hopper. We already have that. Right, anyway. So. Let's test out the lights. Nicely working. Turning signals. Then the. Oh, there is no fog lights. So, anyway. Sounds really nice. The turbo. It's a turbo diesel. By the sound of it. Alright, let's put this on low range. So. Can this thing climb uphill right. the traction control struggles all right all right let's switch the gearbox okay now it's time for a crash, so let's see how this goes. This time I'm trying to like do a flip over crash. 
they have an easy run. So let's let's see what this goes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I did not expect to happen that. What the hell? Right. Um. Holy shit! Um. That's my chassis, and this is my body. Fucking hell. <laughs> Alright, now it looks like a Wrangler somewhat. Jesus. Can I open the doors? No, nope, it's locked. Alright, anyway. Nice crash. Oh, I can't even get inside. So, do I have to go back to the chassis if I want to get inside of this vehicle? Oh yes, I have to do that. Alright, anyway. This is the... Uh, this is... Uh, Miami Dawn Sport R. So this is somewhat between the Gladiator and the Gladiator had something like Hellosaurus as I think the... Uh, with the Dodge Hellcat engine or the Demon engine as I think. So this is somewhat representing that. Uh, let me check the engine. Alright, nice interior. Holy shit, that massive. Alright, okay, we have a nice V8 in it. So yes, let's turn off the traction. We have the Oh no, no, no. The thing I learned is uh, the body is not that very well attached to the chassis. It just ripped off. What the fuck? Alright, anyway. Nice mod. And um, this is <laughs> this is basically what left of it. So yes, um, that's how I actually do most of the um, mod testing. So yes, nice mod. This is too much power for me, basically. Uh, there is very, very different configuration. So, no, I just forgot about that. So, yes, we didn't talk about the configuration for the uh, Bruto Grand and Marmidon. I have no idea how to pronounce this. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section. So, yes, the Bruto Grand has 64 configurations, so let's check that out first. So as you guys can see, the Wrangler, all right, uh, but it's the uh, demolition derby version. Then there is uh, different uh, generations, I think, uh, with the soft top. Then there's the hard top versions as well. Uh, these are very very old and they are very very much similar to the uh, Ibiza Hopper. This is somewhat a uh, little bit off from the Ibiza Hopper, that's why I picked it. So yes, as you guys can see, uh, something very much similar to the, what is called? The Jurassic Park SUV. Uh, and we have the Ramplow, the drag version as well. Uh, there's something like a little tiny... Uh, cab section right here all right anyway that's uh the 64 configurations and i'm still having issues with my mods sorry about that then we have 32 uh configurations for the pickup version and now i'm a little bit disappointed because 
they are a little bit similar because I think uh, they are differ from the years because it goes from 1980 something to nine, uh, 2003 or 2013 and there is different configurations but this one looks really nice personally uh, this V8 Sport R is really nice to drive as you guys saw earlier and you guys can see what is the left, left of it right here right anyway i think uh that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoy this and you guys can give it a try uh, both of these mods are available for free and by the way again uh, we have a discord and a facebook page uh, the discord one also has uh, what is called the mod links as well as uh, different updates on the our bmmp server uh, at the moment it's working you guys can check it out and then um, in facebook one because it's actually very very new and i'm very, very new to facebook as well because i'm a little bit of a boomer so yes we are sharing like behind the scenes when we are making somewhat uh, what is called the actually what is called cinematics cinematics as well as um, previous mods with their links as well so you guys can check it out all right i don't know why there is so much paint uh, personally i mean the quality device the bruto brand the pickup as well as the suv nice it's actually very very well made but it looks like the bishu hopper so it's boring and uh, i don't know why uh, but it doesn't give me a what is called the satisfaction of a mod because it looks like a already available vanilla vehicle but compared to this one i mean the textures are shit inside as you can see uh, but for a free mod not bad you guys can see the <laughs> engine is there's no round parts to be honest uh, anyway it's still work in progress uh, so as yes, i hope he added more quality details as well as uh, more openable doors here and there all right this is uh, personally the cadillac escalade is going to be my favorite let me know what is your favorite uh, mod of this video all right again thank you guys for watching and if you guys are new to this channel don't forget to like and subscribe because uh, we cover up mods like this, sometimes we do uh, BMP challenges, sometimes we do uh, crash compilation videos, um, sometimes we do cinematics and uh, if you guys are into these kind of things, feel free to uh, join our community. So yes, I think that is it. So see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out. Bye bye.